one it is literally half four on the afternoon and i'm ready for bed so don't mind that fact but today i'm going to do a new episode of reading my entire physical tbr this is technically episode three however i do i was filming episode three before and i just haven't finished that book yet and it's been like a month so i'm gonna film a new one and call this episode three um and hopefully i'll finish this book i've been in a slight bit of a slump since i've gone back to work full time because i just don't have time to read really anymore um but yeah i've finished uni now officially i've handed in all my final assignments and now i'm just working full time so yeah let's do another one of these physical tbr videos if you don't know how i do these both of these jars are filled with the titles of all the books that are on my physical tbr and i pick one from each and then i decide which one i want to read so let's crack on first book i'm not going to read them till i've picked both of them okay the first book is what is that okay this is a fairy loop book that i got and it's the city of dusk which is a fantasy i'm guessing um Oh, I can't read this one. Okay, the second book is A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab, but the first book in that series is A Darker Shade of Magic, and I haven't read that yet, so I can't read this one. So I'm going to pick a new one out of this jar, um, because I can't read that one yet. Okay. Okay, this actually might work well. So the second one is a Guild. So these are both fantasy books, so I'm going to grab them both and read both of the blurbs, and we'll see my chair went down okay so this is the city of dusk it is by tara sim and apparently it's book one in the dark gods series um it's really stunning black spread edges i'm pretty sure this is fairy loot yes divine power um okay this was the book only adult box book for april 2022 so i've had this on my shelf for over a year oops um, this is the first book in a dark epic fantasy trilogy that follows the four heirs of four noble houses, each gifted with a divine power. Um, so it says, the four realms, life, death, light and darkness, all converge on the city of dusk, ruled by the four noble houses of Nexus. But the gods have withdrawn their favour from the once vibrant and thriving city, and without it all the realms are dying. Unwilling to stand by and watch the destruction, the four heirs, Risha and Necromancer, struggling to keep the peace. Angelica, an elementalist with her eyes set on the throne. Tasia, a shadow wielding rogue with rebellion in her heart. And Nick, a soldier who struggles to see the light, will sacrifice everything to save the city. But their defiance will cost them dearly. Okay, this actually sounds really, really good. However... It's very, very long and the words are very, very small. Um, so this is going to take me ages to read and I feel like this right now, um, like with working full time, just isn't going to work very well. It's 543 pages, um, but it sounds really cool. Second option is Guild by Raven Kennedy which is also the first in a series, the Plated Prisoner series. And this one says, it's the arrogance of men to think so little of women and it will be their downfall. This is the story of King Midas, or that's what we're always told, the golden king with his palace of riches and me, the girl he turned to gold. Upon the snowy mountains of, mountains of the sixth kingdom of Aurea, I'm locked away in Highbell Castle, away from the dangers of the world below. No one can get in apart from him. King Midas rescued me from the streets. He gave me food, shelter and his heart. I promised to love him forever. But when war comes to the kingdom, a deal is struck and I'm at the heart of the bargain. Everything I know starts to change. My love for Midas challenged, my trust broken. Suddenly, I'm sent to travel between kingdoms to a future I no longer understand and my spirit becomes truly tested. I'm always told this is his tale, but, ha but perhaps that is no longer the case. It's mine. This is the story of Auron. This one sounds really, really good. And I remember when I picked, I picked this up like recently 
and I was really really interested to read it. So this book is 386 pages which is a lot shorter and the words are actually quite big. Um, there's like not that many words on the pages. So I feel like I'm going to read Guild. I feel like this is what I'm going for. Yeah, I'm going to read Guild. <laughs> first update and like initial thoughts on guild so i'm 70 pages in which is chapter seven and i'm really enjoying it so far so what i've gathered is that auren auren i still don't know how you say her name it's a u r e n so i'm gonna say it as auren um she's sort of the king's prisoner but like also his like favorite sex slave question mark like she has this whole like she's she's in a cage but this cage covers like a huge part of the castle like she has her own quarters um and she's like special to the king but she's in a cage so i'm not too sure about that but cute like he likes her enough to like want to protect her and put her in a cage me like trying to justify this man's delusional actions anyway um yeah and the king is like he rules the his power is like to turn things to gold um and he rules like one part of the kingdom or like you know he rules his land and there's like lo loads of other kings who rule other lands and basically he's made a deal with another king who's his ally that he can sleep with Auron for one night one time only if he agrees to team up his army with Midas's King Midas's army, Midas, Midas, um, and they're gonna attack the fourth. What is it? The fourth kingdom. Who is another king? There's a lot to take in, um, in the first seventy pages, but it's really good so far, um. I'm actually really enjoying it also i forgot to say so basically because he's like she is his favorite prisoner and his power is to turn things to gold he turned auron to gold she's like completely gold it's weird but it's pretty good um yeah i'm gonna carry on reading tonight i think i'm on page 70 i'm just gonna see how far i can get tonight up until the morning it's boring at least i hear some type of interaction not too f okay hello it is update time first of all um i got two tattoos today and i just want to show you them i'm now at a total of five tattoos so that's pretty cool um but i got this one and this one today this one's i got a matching one with my best friend and then this one um it's just a cute little olive branch so now i've got five oh tattoos there's one on my back as well which is bigger um but i just wanted to show them in the video so guild update i am currently on page 159 which is 41 percent of the way through and it is chapter 15 and i'm really really enjoying it so far the um relationship between Midas and Auron is kind of like it's weird because he's keeping her in a cage like she's some form of possession but now we've started to get flashbacks of like Auron's old life and how Midas saved her um and it's just really cute there's also been like an action scene 
which I didn't expect. Um, Mardus made a bargain with the other king, um, which turned out badly. I don't know. It's just like, I'm, I don't know how to describe it without spoiling it, but I'm really, really enjoying it so far. Okay, I have a couple of thoughts to express. So I'm on page 234, which is chapter 23. And I have some thoughts about the main character, Auron. So I can't decide whether I love her or I hate her. So there are some things that she does that really make me laugh. Like she's a little bit clumsy. Um, like she's smart, but she's also like a bit dumb at the same time i don't know if that makes sense at all but like she has good ideas but she doesn't execute them very well and that i love about her like it just makes her so funny but then at the same time she's also really annoying because she's like obviously she's like the the gilded one she's like the one who's been cho chosen um to be like the king's gilded one so she is like better than the other saddles in that way but like they're on this journey um getting from sixth kingdom to fifth kingdom and they're like traveling through the snow with like horse and carriages and like all of the other um women and all the other saddles are like in their own carriages i mean carriages and then um Oren has her own and like every time there's like something going on she always gets out and like has to go and inv investigate herself even though there's like hundreds of guards there doing the investigation and it's like you're not you're not a guard you're not a soldier get back in your carriage get off the horse quite literally get off your high horse just get back in your carriage follow your orders and just sit down and shut up like <laughs> I can't decide whether she's like really cool or if she's just really really annoying i cannot decide but i am really enjoying the book um we've got to the point where they're still traveling to the fifth kingdom and there's like been a disturbance in the snow and they're trying to figure out what's going on um to be honest they've been traveling for like 10 chapters <laughs> so i am getting a bit bored of them being out on the in the snow right now but um, it does say that they're literally, they just have to cross this one little bit and then they're there. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm actually so surprised that I haven't picked this up sooner. Like, it is so, so easy to read for a fantasy book. I'm just really, really enjoying it. And I actually cannot wait to find out what happens in the last 150 pages. Like, there's got to be some big sort of reveal or conflict or something. Because there always is in the last part of a fantasy book. And I'm just... I'm so excited to finish this book. Okay, I've literally just this second, like about five minutes later, got to the whatever the disturbance was in the snow. And this book has so many things in, like that I've never read in a fantasy book before. Like, I'm not going to say what's happened because it's like a pretty big part of the book and I don't want to spoil it. But the disturbance that was in the snow, I have never ever in any fantasy book read about anything like this before and it's really really cool how people can just come up with these ideas and you can read fantasy books and they're completely different to one another like how are people's imaginations this big it really baffles me but i'm really really enjoying it like this book is nothing like any other fantasy book i've read before and it's really good okay, i've literally just cried at the end of chapter 27 which is page 274 i did not expect to cry especially when there's still over 100 pages left in the book <sighs> i'm so sad why is it that books and movies always kill off the character that i really like they like me to grow attached to them and then they just murder them. This is this is horrible. I can't believe I've cried already. 
I didn't expect to come write this book at all, but here we are. Okay, we've made it to the final update for this video because I have finished Guild by Raven Kennedy. <sighs> I've given this book five stars. This book was so good that I have immediately picked up the sequel, Glint, which I'll talk about that in my next video, not in this one, but that's how you know that a book is good because it made me immediately want to immediately want to pick up the sequel. I actually can't believe like some of the stuff that happened in this book. The there was a big reveal sort of like something was sort of revealed but it also sort of wasn't to do with the main character Auron. Um and there was also a revelation that a entire other world exists um a fire world where the there's like this bridge that connects the two worlds and the fae and the humans used to like cohabit but now it's like really separate because apparently the fae betrayed the human world and all of that was revealed we met the um some of the people from the fourth kingdom which is king rot's kingdom um there was, I don't, I don't know how much I can say without spoiling it, but there was just so many different elements to this book, but it wasn't to the point where it was like really overwhelming and difficult to read. Like it was still so, so easy to read. Um, like for a fantasy book, this was incredible. Um, I don't know what it's marketed as, but it's definitely like an adult book um or like new adult at least because there are some scenes in here that are like pretty sexual because the um saddles are like people who the king has sex with basically um so yeah but this was really really good so this one was 386 pages and then the sequel is like 400 and 460 pages and in this one i think we get more perspectives because in guild we only got Oren's perspective but i'm pretty sure in glint we get queen melina who is king midas's wife Oren, and then i believe there is like a bit of king midas's perspective at the end um but yeah at the end of this when king midas found out what has happened to Oren? like i'm just gonna say it spoiler alert this isn't like a huge spoiler at all by any means because it happens like halfway in um but when king midas finds out that finds out that Oren has been like taken captive his reaction is incredible like he's such a good he's such a good book boyfriend like i really hope that we get to see more of him in the next book because he, like i said he was only in like the first half of this book um so i really hope we get to see more of him in the next book and i'm just so so excited to read glint and if i enjoy this one i'm gonna have to buy the rest of the series because it's really really good so far um so yeah that is another book on my physical tbr down um i'm really enjoying this series i really like picking the books out of the tbr jar so yeah hopefully we'll do another one soon but thanks so so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one Bye,